see that? That crappy opening shot that I had right there was caused by condensation inside of my lens. I don't know how it happened. I'm in different places all the time, different climates. I'm always moving my gear in and out of houses. It could have happened coming out of my bag, going into an air-conditioned home, going back outside, coming back into an air-conditioned home, going back outside, all that stuff. Nevertheless, I have condensation inside of my lens. You just saw that opening shot, very blurry. Very out of, I mean, not, it seemed like it wasn't in focus. It was focused, but it was focused on the blurriness inside of my lens. There's a quick fix to do this. I hope that it works because I don't want to take this apart. I really love using this lens. It's a Sony 10 to 18 millimeter. It is a really nice lens. I use it in almost everything that I shoot. It blows up rooms for me. I can get in tight places and still be able to capture everything that's inside of the room. I really hope that I do not have to replace this lens because I do not like replacing and or buying the same things. I also hope that I don't have to send it out to Sony to get fixed. Now the main issues with these normally are that there's moisture inside of there and that moisture usually develops fungus. Now being that I haven't had this problem or recognized this problem inside of this lens for a little while now, I don't think that I have fungus inside of there. Now before I develop fungus inside of there, I would like to be proactive and obviously get the moisture out of my lens so I could just use it in the first place because I can't use this right now. So there's a quick fix, like I said, to getting this done. I hope it works for me and I'm gonna take you guys through the process so you don't have to drive yourself crazy and you know what's going on when this happens to you. I was looking forward to going out and shooting with her today, but because of these camera issues, we have to stay inside today. Luckily enough, down here in Florida where we are, it is kind of a crummy, overcast, rainy type day. It's been like that for the last three days. So I'm gonna get this done. Tomorrow, all this stuff is supposed to burn off, so we're gonna go out and vlog. Me and her are gonna go out and vlog, right? That's what we're gonna do, right? And this is the new Kona cam, if you guys were wondering. So, anyhow, we're gonna have this strapped to her back, and you're gonna get a dog's perspective at some points during these vlogs that I'm shooting with her. So that'll be pretty cool. And that's what we were really hoping to get out and be able to do, me and her, today. But, like I just said, camera issues, I gotta kinda go through this stuff and make sure that it's not going on. We have a big week in store for us. Christy's coming down in a couple days, so I'd like to get all these camera issues done and out of the way. So I'm just kind of chilling, shooting, getting some vlogs done, and having a good time with my family while they're down here. So let's do this. All right guys, so it's super simple. All you really need is a Ziploc freezer bag, a silicon packet, a silica packet, silica gel. You find it in your shoes, some shirts come with them and stuff like that. You need about three or four towels, hand towels, just small hand towels, some rubber bands, and about 50 pennies. Now before you break this out to get into your lens, do this, because I was about to get into this. And as much as I like to tear things down and see what's inside of them, I love magic even more. And I want to see if this magic trick actually works. I have seen it work. I want to see if it works with what I have going on here with this lens. Hopefully, because it's the cheapest, fastest way out of not having to buy a lens. So let's get into it. So what you're gonna do is you gotta take all the caps off of your lenses. So you have it out off your lenses, take this, put it inside of there so nothing's happening to it while you're doing everything else. Right there. So what you're gonna do is take all these pennies that you got here, you got 50 pennies. You need some dirty pennies. And what the pennies do is pennies have copper salts on them and it's a natural fungicide and what happens is if you have moisture inside of there there's a possibility that you could also have fungus inside of your lens and more than the moisture you just you definitely just don't want fungus around your stuff so you want to get the moisture out of there and you want to get the fungus out of there and the copper salts from dirty pennies and things like that just dirty pennies that have dirt and the copper salts on them that seems to suck everything out now just hot towels will do that but what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're just gonna wrap it up. You're gonna take your rubber bands. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna take these towels and you're gonna put them inside of the dryer. And that rubber band just broke. So hopefully I have enough rubber bands and I don't have to run back out and grab rubber bands. And that rubber band just broke. Awesome, so we're doing good right here. All right, that rubber band is working. So what you're gonna do is you got all your pennies inside of here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these towels and you're gonna put them inside of the dryer for 10 minutes. 
You're gonna take them out and you're gonna put them inside here. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put these inside of the dryer and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put them inside, put everything all together and let it sit for about five hours. And what happens in five hours is it's supposed to suck it all out. You can do another cycle of it, but it should work within five hours. The heat alone from these towels should be able to suck it out. Now the pennies, that's an ad additive to, you know, a, a fungicide, you know, making sure the fungus is not inside of there. The silica packets, this takes moisture out of everything. So if you put these in like your shoe, shoe box or whatever, and make sure that there's no moisture getting inside of there. So this is a little incentive into going into doing all this other stuff, making sure that, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 being, I'm being double as moisture resistant, I guess you could say. So we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna go throw these in the dryer and we're gonna do all that cool stuff. All right guys, so I may or may not have mentioned it before, but you wanna put the dryer on a high heat for 10 minutes. Take these out, actually it worked pretty good. The rubber band didn't break. It didn't do any damage to the dryer. It doesn't do any damage to the dryer. You're gonna take the, the hand towels and you're gonna put them in there. And I'm doing this quickly because I don't want these to cool off. You're gonna take the silica packet and you're gonna put it down by the lens, close to the lens. All right, you're gonna zip this up. All right, and I'll tell you about the dryer in a couple seconds. So just take that out a little bit. All right, now it doesn't do any damage to the dryer because you have buttons and things like that on jackets and jeans and stuff like that. So you don't have to really worry about it. You could double it up with the hand towels. You could double it up with the rubber bands as well and make sure that if you're worried about it, you protect your dryer. But you want to take these, put them inside In a good spot, I'm gonna put them right there. It's not a sunny day. On a sunny day, you would be able to put them by the window over there. And if you had them by the window over there, then it'd take some sunlight and it'd have some you know, residual heat off of that and you'd be able to get that. But anyhow, I'm gonna leave them in here because it's a crummy day, there's no sun outside, it's very cold. I'm gonna leave them right here. And I'm gonna let this do this for five hours. You gotta let this sit for five hours with the silica packet, with the hot towels and the pennies inside of there. It's gonna create a vortex inside of there and what happens is it sucks out all the moisture that's sitting inside of the lens. So we're gonna let that sit, like I said, for five hours, all right? All right, so it's been five hours and the only thing I've done differently since that time is I put the bag in front of a space heater here. I figured that if the towels needed to be heated and that made it work better than them being in front of a space heater like this might be doing what the dryer was doing to the hand towels. So what I did was I made sure that the hand towels were over the lens that was sitting inside of the bag just to protect it a little bit more. But I put my hand in front of it. It felt like it was safe. Definitely felt like it was nice and warm on there. It was definitely keeping the towels warm. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this off, turn off this heat, Take this bag, bring it right over here. And we can see what we have with that right there. I'm gonna take all that out of the bag and see what happened with the lens. I can actually see the lens in there a little bit. It looks, I don't know. It looks like it might've worked. So let's see what it did. All right guys, so let's see whether or not this worked. As you can see, I rigged up a little thing there so I could hang it, as you saw over there, in front of the heater. So, cut all that stuff away. Get all that out of the way. Probably ruining the bag right now. I probably could have reused this. But now there's tape in my way. So. warm inside of here and it's clean it took out all 
how that moisture it stands. I can't see any moisture inside of it right now. So it definitely does work because it was, it was, there was a bunch of moisture sitting inside of there for whatever reason this morning and it is not in there right now. So I hope that over time, this is the ultimate fix for it because I would not like to wake up tomorrow morning when I want to go shoot and have this happen again. But like I said, it seems to have worked at this point right now. So it's pretty good. So just to review, what we're gonna do is take three to four hand towels in one of the hand towels with a rubber band. What are you gonna do? Wrap up the rubber band around the hand towels with 50 pennies inside of it. Take those 50 pennies, and like I did for good measure, a silica packet. So, I don't know whether or not this helped it out. I mean, it might have. It does suck up moisture. The pennies definitely do something. The copper salt inside of it help evaporate water or suck up moisture, creating some type of vortex. The hot towels, I've heard, would do it by themselves. So you could try hot towels if you don't have that. But I mean, all in all, 50 cents, a couple of hand towels, Ziploc bag, silica packet if you have it. We're gonna test out this lens right now too. Let's go with it. And just like it's always been, nice and clear. No moisture inside of there. I can't see any dots or anything. It was very, very foggy when I was filming this this morning. This was about the shot that we were getting right there this morning. You could see how much clearer that is right there. I'm actually really, really happy with the way that turned out. Are you happy? Are you happy? See, this was a clear, nice shot I wanted of that little girl right there. And that is what I was hoping to get. And this is the result that I was hoping to get. So that's a really awesome trick, guys. I mean, like I said, I hope it holds up. I'll report back if anything else changed with it, but I think that that's actually what had to happen with it. I think that for me transferring in and out of the house and being in so many different climates and all those kinds of things, I'm traveling around all the time. Like I said, I it was probably the air conditioner that had done it. I, I undid my gear yesterday, I cleaned it up. There might have been some moisture left on, on it. Usually it doesn't get inside of there. Usually I'm not even in the rain to have any moisture inside of there. I'm usually in some dirty, moldy, fungusy places, but I don't see it getting inside of there. I've never really had a problem with it. And I hadn't used this lens in a few weeks. So it's very weird that it happened. Obviously it does happen. To prevent it from happening, when you're transferring in and out of different climates and things like that, going inside of a hot house to the cold outside, to, uh, or the cold inside to the hot outside, you know how your sunglasses or your shades or your glasses would fog up anything like that when you're coming out of a nice cool area and going into the heat that could happen with your camera gear it's a it's a glass lens it has all that stuff inside of it so what you want to do with me rambling on and on what you want to do is just protect your stuff inside of a ziploc bag you throw everything inside of a ziploc bag and in, in case you're inside of cold temperatures or whatever and everything keeps transferring you don't have to worry about any condensation getting inside of your equipment. I mean, it, it, you're, you can develop fungus inside of it. Luckily enough, I do not think that I have any fungus inside of this lens. I think I just caught it at the nick of time. There wasn't moisture sitting inside of there for very long. I was able to pull it out in the vortex that those pennies create, which is kind of cool. It's a really, really cool trick that I just learned right there today. Really good, saved me some money. Obviously save me some time, save me a headache of taking apart this lens because lenses are really, really hard to take apart. And once you get into them, you have to kind of get it done. Obviously I don't like any of my equipment sitting on standby, so I would have had another day where I wasn't able to shoot, where I was sitting there replacing this lens, fixing this lens, doing whatever it was that I needed to do with it. So I had my fingers crossed. We got it done, guys. Anytime you need it, use that trick. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to see you at a spot. I'm definitely going to a spot tomorrow to use my lens to do something really cool. Me and Kona are going to get out there, and we'll see you at the spot. Peace.